We've all had it happen, right? You're singing through a song and you get to that point in the piece where your voice breaks, flips, clunks, or simply disappears altogether. The funny thing is, this is happening right in the middle of your voice. Why is that? You know that you've got notes above that point, but why does your voice struggle smack bang in the middle? I've got all the answers coming right up. Sound check. Check one, check two. Hey there friend, Dr. Dan here with another super helpful singing tip designed to develop your voice and improve your sound. I really do want you to be the very best singer you can possibly be. So first of all, let's name this all too common part of the vocal range which many people call their break. Now classical singers call it the passaggio. But as a contemporary singing teacher, I prefer the term transition. We actually have three points of transition, with each one occurring between the four distinct registers, pulse, lower, upper and flute for girls and falsetto for guys. Now if you'd like to view a more detailed explanation of voice registration, then make sure you watch Head and Chest Voice Explained after this video. Interestingly, men and women generally experience the primary point of transition differently. For guys, the primary uh, transition causes some issues when moving from their upper register into falsetto, whereas the primary gear change for women is more often than not felt when moving from their lower to upper registers. Sound check. So what's going on here? Well, I like to think of the transition points as a mechanical gear shift. For most beginner singers, the gear shift is clunky and uncoordinated, just like we'd observe in a beginner driver. When a person first learns to drive a manual car, there's a lot to think about, isn't there? Steering wheel, gear stick position, clutch, acceleration, other drivers. All of these various aspects need to flow together in the harmonious task we call driving. And it's much the same when we sing. In order for our voice to smoothly transition from one register to the next, we must learn to coordinate our breath stream, body alignment and vocal tract shapes. One sure way to have the voice lock up at the point of transition is to have too much air pressure flowing through the larynx. Heightened air pressure will cause the larynx to tighten and constrict. A constricted throat doesn't allow the subtle intrinsic muscular adjustments required for a smooth transition. Secondly, your body alignment needs to be balanced and buoyant. I'm always keen to see the neck and shoulders free from tension with a larynx that is free to move up and down like a boy on the sea, a B-U-O-Y boy. The larynx should be able to move with the swell of the piece, never held high or pushed low continuously. Sound check. The third area we need to address is vocal tract shapes. You see, different vowels will cause the voice to respond in slightly different ways. So when we're singing a song and the notes reach the transition point, the vowel you're on at the time might just determine whether or not your transition is a smooth one or not. The best way to describe this is to show you with an exercise and in order to keep the video short and snappy I'm going to pack a whole lot into a simple nine note scale. So here goes. First I'm going to start with a lip bubble over a couple of phrases. A well developed lip bubble implements all the necessary components required for a smooth transition. Consistent breath stream, balanced musculature, and an open free throat. I'll then follow the lip bubble phrases with the three different vowels R, E and U. Now for the sake of the example I'm going to be singing this as the phrases go up in semitone increments but when you do it at home my advice is to do one whole exercise using a lip bubble and then repeat the activity using each separate vowel. And for those of you who already have Dr. Dan's Voice Essentials exercise CD which is quite a few of you now just use track 16. So here goes. Lip bubble again. Vowel. Ah. E. A couple more things. Firstly, when workshopping your transitions, try approaching them like you would a speed bump in a car. If you hit a speed bump at full throttle, the ride will be pretty rough. And the same with a voice that hits the transition with too much pressure and too much volume. 
So try backing off the pressure and the volume as you approach the transitions. For example, a nine note scale again might sound like this. Notice that I just backed off a smidge so that my voice could move through the transition. Once you become more confident with the transition points, try applying a more consistent airflow as well as a more even volume throughout the scale. And this brings me to my final point. With contemporary vocal point, vocals, unlike classical singing, we don't always need or want a smooth transition point. Actually, there are many artists that use the flip or the clunk of their transition as a signature effect. So as you work on your transitions, do so understanding that smoothing out your transitions is simply another opportunity to be in full control of your voice. In some songs, you'll choose to have a seamless transition, and in others, you'll look to apply a distinct switch between registers. I've got a few more ideas and exercises written down in an article, In Practice Transitions. I'll leave a link in the notes sections below, so be sure to check it out if you're keen for a more in-depth look at the subject. As always, I'll be keen to hear from you about how today's video has helped you as you work towards smoother register transitions. Before you click away, be sure to leave me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more videos just like this one. I want to develop your voice and improve your sound and we do that right here at Voice Essentials every Tuesday and Thursday. So hit that subscribe button and join our ever-growing community of singers from across the globe. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.